guys, Kimberly with Skinology. I had a request on contouring makeup, so I just wanted to briefly go over some main areas that you should definitely highlight with your face. And uh, this kind of helps to make your nose look smaller, your eyes look brighter, brings a luminosity to the skin, so it helps to brighten and lighten. Also to give it a little bit of a dewy look. Um, you can actually use different color foundations. Uh, I'm going to use my ponytail brush to tip, but normally when we do contouring, we kind of talked about the cheek, is you want to do definitely a softer highlight here and then your actual pigment here. Um, a highlighter kind of looks, I'm going to show you Watts Up by Benefit. You can see it kind of has a skin color um, tone with a little bit of glow. And if I put it on my hand, you can kind of um, see it's just a little brighter in that area. Um, so again, with blush, you want to do a little light here. Also, if you're going to do a foundation more so than, um, uh, again, my recommendation, I love this little guy, Watts Up by Benefit. But you want to definitely highlight over the brow. You want to highlight on the sides of the nose. Um, even again with the louder, lighter foundation, our expression lines right here are also a really good place to kind of recast shadow under our nose. And then right here again under our lip, our lip casts a shadow, so it kind of just brightens everything. Um, so I'm just going to take my watts up and I'm going to go over those areas that we talked about. So I'm just going to kind of draw a line. I talked about going down the sides of the nose. However, I love this just for a little extra sheen to go on top. So I'm going to come all in these areas that we just spoke about. And as you can see, I'm kind of you can even come here, like we talked about, for that cheek for highlighting. So now I'm just going to spread all this in. I kind of probably should have done one side of the face versus the other. And just a nice light little press. The makeup will warm with your fingertips, so you don't need a lot. I mean, we're really not trying to make the whole face glow, but we definitely want it to, to glow in some areas to kind of highlight where we are. So again, in these areas that I've shown you, you can also do a lighter foundation to kind of, um, and then darker, kind of more around the face. But again, I really like this Watts Up by Benefit because it just gives me that luminosity that I need. So now you can kind of see in these areas where I've applied it that my skin definitely looks a little highlighted and a little bit more dewy, a little brighter. One thing that I noticed that Hannah's going to have to do on me today is a brow tint. Uh, my brows are, are still pretty light and I actually, guys, I'm ashamed to admit this, but I do need a, sh uh, a brow shape as well. Um, but I'm just going to take a little bit of some Anastasia brow color and I'm just going to apply it lightly right there and you're going to see a difference. You always, again, we talked about uh, wanting to start at your points because you want to make sure that you extend your brow to where it needs to go. I always like powder eyeshadow because I just think it has a more natural look. I'm definitely using a little bit thicker of a brush. But you can really see now that my brow is really more defined than when we first started. So I'm just going to come over here again because again we want to start at our points, okay? We want to make sure our brows are kind of like our drapes. So this is really just two easy steps that you can do. And as you can see now, again, this brow is a little bit more defined. And they look so natural. That's what's really nice. So, guys, thanks for tuning in. Again, um, What's Up by Benefit. Anastasia is my favorite eyeshadow palette and brow tint, so I always recommend them as well. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.